Well, today, guys, we're going to be revisiting an old friend. Today, guys, we're going to try again the Hughes and Kettner Tube Meister 18. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Yes, we're going to be revisiting an amp that I had in the infancy of this channel and I'm going to try it again for round two. So back when I was stationed at Fort Benning, Georgia, I was starting out this YouTube channel that you're watching at this very moment and one of the first amps I had and recorded was the Tube Meister 18. I said it many times but again when I was living there at Fort Benning, Georgia I was using cabs and amps and I did not have the means to run a real tube head through a cabinet and it just it was not was not sounding good. I couldn't crank it up and I was in a big giant open wooden plantation style house down south and I just I just really had to try something else so I went into the plug-in and the you know the the modeling world and now I want to try the tube head, the Tube Meister 18, one more time. Although this guy is pretty small and compact, man, don't let the size fool you. This thing has a lot of features built in. So this amplifier is a two channel amp, you have a clean and a lead, right? But there's a lead boost button, which is this red guy. So it gives you a little bit more variety. If you have the lead boost on the clean channel, it gives you a crunch sound. And if you have the lead boost on the lead channel, it goes from a rhythm style to a full blown metal tone or you can get a really, really saturated and have a nice lead sound. On the back has the ability to have 18, 5, or 1 watts, as well as a red box speaker emulated XLR output. Two 12AX7s in the preamp, and two EL84s in the power section, and you're good to go. So for this demo, guys, I'm using my Les Paul Custom, my 1978 Les Paul Custom in drop C sharp. There is a Tube Screamer in front of this amplifier just because I wanted to get a little bit more tight and a little bit more aggressive, which we'll talk about in the positives and the negatives of this demo. And then from there, I'm using my Universal Audio Aux Amp Top Box, running right into my Focusrite Eclair Pre. When we come back, we'll talk about the positives and the negatives of the Tube Meister 18 and my overall summary of round two with this amplifier. So that is the Tube Meister 18 round two. My overall summary is it's a solid, solid starter tube amplifier. 
We'll start with the negatives first, all right? As always, we always start with the negatives, end on a high note with the positives, and then we'll get out of here, all right? The first negative and the big negative overall is there's just really not a lot of gain with this amplifier, and I think that's a reflection on the preamp section. Two preamp tubes, man, really, really, it's just, it's, it's not enough there. Yes, you have the lead boost, and that kind of sends it just at that threshold, but then I was finding a problem with the lead boost. It was becoming very very saturated in the high end and losing a lot of low end thump so I guess the lead boost literally is for the lead stuff but um, for a rhythm for a rhythm style of guitar it just really wasn't cutting it another negative I kind of just touched on it briefly but I'll reiterate it there is no real low end in this amplifier it really just has a lot of mid range and a lot of high end but when you're looking for a lot of heavy rhythm stuff I really had to do a decent amount in post um, to to fix the low end I didn't go crazy in post I just had a little bump in the low mids and the lows but you know in reality man just straight up there's really not too much low end with this but that's to be expected it's a MIDI amplifier right you get what you pay for you know what you're getting into with the MIDI head realm of things but there is a lot of positive with this thing first positive it's loud it's band loud you can use this on the 18 watt mode and run right into a cabinet and be at rehearsal or at a gig and you can be heard just fine with this amplifier. Another huge positive is the Redbox XLR output. This feature can be extremely useful for silent recording, right? Let's say you want to have a real tube head sound but you don't have the money or you don't have the means like I did back in the day to run a cabinet, right? You can use the XLR output right into your interface and then you have the tube sound and you have it done silently. Alright guys, so we'll go with two more positives, okay? One more positive right off the bat, again, is the ability to change from 18 to 5 to 1 watt. You have anything from full band volume to silent jamming in your bedroom. That's awesome. The last positive, guys, is this thing is built rock solid. It really is. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a toy. The knobs are very smooth and, and, and well constructed. It's very heavy. It looks cool, like all the classic... You know, kind of looks like a road sign, you know, the Hughes and Kettner sign. I really love that look with the Hughes and Kettner stuff. But yeah, seriously guys, overall it is built rock solid and it doesn't feel cheap for an amp that's just over 500 bucks. So overall guys, my overall summary is if you're looking for a metal style mini head, I would personally would look elsewhere. But if you're looking for a classic rock type of sound, I see no problem using the Hughes and Kettner mini head. Alright guys, so what'd you guys think of the song? What'd you guys think of the tone? Leave it all down below in the comments of this video. April 21st, that is tomorrow. If you're watching this real time, I'm giving away the STL Tones Howard Benson Suite. That is a giveaway on Patreon, $5 to enter. All social media links to include Instagram, Patreon, and my EPs are all down below as well for your eyes only to check out, guys. All right, guys, if you're brand new to my channel, please, please hit that subscribe button if you want to join my friends and family here on my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I am out of here. Stay metal. I'll see you guys next time.